So the space travel startup fictional client, they've been doing really well and now they have some new features that they want added to the dashboard. Welcome to the Ready Design of One channel. So now we're gonna go through five features to improve the dashboard. So here is a slight update and if we just zoom in. So here I've just added some things such as successful with a small dot just to bring a bit of attention to it failed with red and there's also an edit link because you can edit these tickets so the first thing that the client has requested is can we have more actions at the top so for example they want to add a new ticket they want to add a new passenger they want to add a new astronaut so how do you go about doing this? So now what we quickly did is just added three new CTAs. However, the problem with that is you're starting to have a lot of CTAs, it's starting to get cluttered. So one way to, to rectify this is not all of these need to be the primary action. There might be one primary action that the user or the client can agree on. So let's just say creating a ticket is the most primary action. So therefore we can just even make this a lighter gray so it's not standing out as much. So let's say 200 and then let's make the fill dark so at least at this point it is not going to be too many dark CTAs because the, the UI can get really heavy you can also rather than have a background we can just add a stroke okay and that is another simple way of making sure the UI does not get way too heavy. So that's another way of doing it. Or even free CTAs is a bit too much. So another technique is to command that. And rather than have free CTAs, just gonna have one CTA and that will be a drop down. say 40 height okay so now it's fully rounded so the next request is tabs so they would like to know the metrics for the last 24 hours 9 days 30 days so we are going to use tabs for that so let's see quickly how we're going to go about that so here I'm actually just going to duplicate that bring it over and I'm going to call that tabs command dot and let's also give that a fill of white okay so the way we're going to do this is we are going to create another auto layout and we're not going to do components now, we're just playing around. So fill, and we also just have a good think about this. Let's reduce the spacing there, and let's also get rid of that because I want the actual tab to have a spacing of 20. And then we are going to say my tab, and we can have a stroke that only goes to the bottom should that be one should we leave out one for now and then I'm just going to duplicate that so let's have a thing 90 37 so four tabs and then here I'm just going to combine that we're going to space that out
so now we did our tabs and what we do at the end of the video we'll put it all together just to see how it looks they need a search and this is quite a big feature because now they have a lot of tickets it's very hard to find them so they need a way to search and they also need a way to have filters and we're not going to get deep into filters we just need to know where we're going to place the link And also they might need to sort as well. So we can just add another one, so command dot or command D. And here we can say sort. And we're gonna call that sort. And then we're gonna group these two, shift A, with a spacing of 40. Okay, so that's quite straightforward hopefully, but I think the gap is too big. Hit update, let's say about Eight. Let's do the same for that. Eight. So now we're looking at the table and now they need more links, more actions. They need to edit, they need to cancel, they need to contact the person as well. So a very quick way of doing that is let me just copy the whole table. So command dot and here the caption is in there. So I'm just gonna command dot that. Let's bring that over here and let's fill that with white. Okay, so now let's have a think. So, we, so what I've made earlier is, let me just command dot. So here if I command D, Okay, so now we can see that the UI or the table is starting to get pretty, pretty cluttered. So you can imagine a long name, you're feeling quite a lot of information, but maybe that, that's exactly what the user needs. However, how can we clean this up? So again, because we've got three links, we can turn that into a more actions link and you click, it will drop down. Okay, and sometimes the nice thing is when you show the client, you can go through this and explain that the table is starting to get quite busy. It can be quite hard for the user to make a decision. So this is where you need to think about the user. We don't need to show every single action to them, just trying to show the primary actions and then hide the secondary actions. So we're near the end of the video and now we're going to combine everything into one piece and then at the end we're going to do one more thing to clean up the UI. So let me just command the whole thing there. Let me just copy that header and let's see if I can go here. Command dot and let me just paste that in. And you bring that to the top let's delete the old one okay and this is taking up more space than the other one but that's okay and now we need to add the tabs so copy the tabs we we'll go here paste that just go up delete that okay great so there's little improvements we can do already. So since I'm on the tabs, 
now you can see that we definitely need another line here so I'm just going to very quickly add that in and let's say gray and we're going to say on the bottom okay great and we need to have a bit of space between these two so I'm going to say at the top let's have 40 okay so we've got some nice space and here I need to just clip the content okay nice so the next thing to do is to bring in the search so I'm going to copy that Okay, so what we've ended up with is we now have decided that there's going to be more CTAs and actually one thing just to note, even though it's a tiny thing, is the height of that is 120. So I would like to make this equal height so it's matching with the line which is the C, which is the link here. However, we have to make sure it aligns in the middle, so that's pretty cool. So now it's nicely aligned up. So now we have the main CTA, which is going to drop down. You can have as many as you want. We're looking at three. You could possibly have one CTA and then three dots. And then they requested that they want to see metrics for 90 days, not 30 days, seven days, 24 hours. So what we're doing is tab. So when you click on the tab, these are going to change and in terms of the table they need a search feature and they need to be able to sort the results and be able to have some filters so this is right on top of the table so if you scroll up this will probably stick to the top here and then the last one is they had three links per table item but we can see the table is going to get really cluttered so we're using a more link menu so if you click it will drop down and then you'll have your three main actions okay so one final tip command d if you stuck to the end then thank you very much and i really appreciate your support so i'd highly highly appreciate it if you can leave a like leave a comment hit the notification bell and the last tip I can give is spacing. I always talk about spacing and sometimes tables can take up a lot of space. So what we try to do is use as much space as we can by going to the edge. So what do I mean by that? So my command dot, this whole thing right now, it's got a spacing of left and right of 40. So let's just say I take that out so now we're going right to the edge and that also means here we have to think about this lining up because you now we're going to get a bit picky and each of these tabs so if i hit enter i want them to be 40 left and the right so now this is lining up and then this one here we're also going to say 40 left and the right Okay, so now we've gone right to the edge and it's slightly different, but we're trying to make use of a bit more space. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.